how common is it for the C8 to get stolen? How is it even happening with these kind of cars, especially with all the latest anti-theft tech in them? And then how can you make sure that it doesn't happen to your seat? So that's what we're gonna go over in today's video. So thanks for tuning in guys. So recently a buddy of mine and fellow YouTuber showed on his channel the first ever 2024 C8 Z06 that was stolen, but thankfully recovered. But it got me thinking, is it a common thing now, now that the C8 has been out for a few years? And I was curious about it myself, so I did a bit of research to dig up some kinds of examples of stolen C8s and how it happens. And the answer to that is pretty interesting because in a lot of those cases, it boils down to two main patterns. One of those you can do something about to make sure that your C8 is not stolen, and the other, well, it's kind of out of your hands no matter what you do, which is kind of terrifying if you think about it. But there's some silver lining either way that I'll also explain. So, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is talk about some of the examples I found of C8s that were stolen over the last few years. If you're following along, you'll start noticing a pattern pretty quickly like I did. But I'd invite you to post down in the comments what you think are the common ways C8s are stolen before watching the rest of the video. And I'd love to see what you think and if it matches with what I ended up finding. And if you had an experience with your C8 being stolen or nearly stolen, let me know in the comments too and share with us what happened. So all right, so we'll go through examples from the oldest to the most recent. So the first example comes out of Miami, Florida back in November of 2021. So over two years ago. It's crazy to think that this car first being produced beginning of 2020 is now on its fourth year now. It feels like it's only been half that time. A anyways, I'm getting off topic. So the first example, this C8 owner had his car in the driveway and in the middle of the night an auto jacker comes and it takes him less than 30 seconds to steal the car. Now, in a quick glance, that's pretty concerning if a C8 can get stolen that quickly, but after looking into the info a little deeper, it just so happens that the keys were left in the car and the car was left unlocked. So you're probably thinking, who in their right mind would do that? Well, it turns out that the car was sent to a third party to get washed and detailed, and it was brought back to the owners, but they weren't at home, so the keys were left in the car. And the thieves weren't casing the C8 specifically, but could actually be seen trying to open up other cars in the neighborhood and looking for either valuables or cars to get stolen in general. So in this instance, it's a crime of opportunity rather than a C8 specifically being targeted. Had the C8 prop been properly locked, I don't think much would have happened in this instance. So all right, the next example comes out of Fairfield, New Jersey back in February of 2022. The info comes from a C8 owner on mid-engine Corvette forum, where the owner went to, into a hobby store for about a minute or two and came back to a guy in his C8. The guy <laughs> jumped out and was face to face with the owner before running into a BMW SUV, which was also stolen. Pretty scary situation and, pro and probably a bit awkward too, just imagining being face to face with a dude that was just in your car. Well, awkward for like a split second and then immediately pissed, cause you best believe I'd be re reacting like I'm sure most of you would be. Thankfully the incident in this case just end ended just like that with the thief driving away. But the story with this one is that the car was left unlocked and it looks like it was a crime of opportunity. So the next example comes from Illinois back in May, 2022. And it's from a dealership that had a few cars all stolen at the same time, including a C8 Corvette. In this instance, the thieves had broken into the dealership and got a hold of the keys to multiple vehicles and drove off. Those vehicles were eventually recovered, but in worse shape, and a majority of those were found at seams for other crimes. Now, this next stolen C8 happened in July of 2023, and it was from Charlotte, North Carolina. The C8 owner had his Corvette for three days before it was stolen. Only three days. Oh my God, could you imagine if you waited to get your brand new Corvette, you finally have it and not even a week goes by and it's gone. Ugh. So how did this one get stolen? Well, it got stolen from a valet parking lot. Yep, a valet parking lot was where the thieves got a hold of the key fob and it was gone. Now the owner in this case had OnStar and the police were able to trace it down to a house where they found a stolen Dodge Challenger and a BMW M4, but not the C8. They unfortunately found rather parts of the C8, like the wheels and side fender. Um, the thieves had taken out the transponder that OnStar uses shortly after it was located. So by the time the police arrived, it was too late. So this one, this one honestly hits really close to home for me because I love my C8 and I already have a hard time letting anyone drive my C8 uh, other than myself, minus when it gets service and even then I'm just like, ugh. But this was 
then but this kind of solidified the view that I'll never valet my car. I know it's not some priceless masterpiece, but it's my pride and joy and I love it. So this next one is probably the first properly stolen C8 that I've come across. Now it's probably a cliche how I'm saying it, but the way I mean is that this C8 looks to have been cased out beforehand and stolen outright instead of it being a crime of opportunity. It comes from a CA owner from Houston, Texas, and it happened back in September of 2022, and the owner detailed his experience on mid-engine Corvette form. So this happened around one in the morning in a parking garage, and the thieves ended up putting straps on the front wheels and dragging it out of the spot using a Jeep. They then proceeded to get into the car uh, from the driver's side, prying the window with a screwdriver, and then proceeded to work in getting the car to run by getting access to the computer system for the car and spoofed the system with a program key. Long story short, it took them about three hours to get the car running and out of there. All the while, the car is sending theft signals to the owner, but it was in the middle of the night and the owner was asleep. The silver lining is that in this case, once the owner realized what happened, he immediately called OnStar and the police and he was able to get it uh, recovered shortly after. Fun extra fact, and I learned from this, OnStar apparently won't give you the location of the car even if you tell them it was stolen without a police report on file which can be really frustrating, I'm sure, especially when every second counts in this kind of situation. Um, by the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, I'd also invite you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It does let YouTube know that you're enjoying this content, share it to more people, and helps me make more videos like this one. So thank you for the support. So this next one is kind of interesting because I never thought about this being a way of getting your C8 stolen. So this happened out of Kansas uh, of November, 2023. So a few months ago, and the C8 was stolen by a thief pretending to rent the car via Turo. If you're not familiar, Turo is a third party company where you can rent out your personal vehicles to, um, to people for a set amount of time. In this case, the C8 owner rented out the Corvette to this thief who then took the transponder out of the car, threw it into the Mississippi River and went on his way with the car. The thief had used a fake ID and account and was able to rent out the car that way. Apparently this is rare, but I can definitely see this happening and thankfully the owner, I believe, was covered by liability insurance in this case, even though it definitely sucks getting your C8 stolen this way. And this last one brings us to the beginning of this video with the 2024 C8 Z06 being stolen brand new. And this one's just an insane story because I've never heard of such a theft and it really makes you think about who you trust with your ride really. So this C8 was brand new with only three miles on it. It was purchased out of a dealership out of Illinois and then was supposed to be transported over to Texas. And that's where it went all wrong. Apparently the transportation company decided to steal the Z06 instead of delivering it to the new owner. That's right, you heard it right, the transport company did this. It really makes me wonder who in their right mind as a business would go and steal some brand, someone's brand new CAZ06 instead of delivering like you promised. I mean, you're going to have all this info, um, but I guess in, in theory, I mean, you could just straight up scam a person, have all fake IDs, but even then the dealership is going to see who are the people who picked up the car and have a description of the tow vehicle and all that stuff, I'd assume. Then again, I don't know much at this current moment about how the logistics of transport companies work, but I feel there would be a decent amount of breadcrumbs to follow, right? In any case, the C8 was recovered and looks to have some damage mainly due to the GPS transponder for the OnStar, which was ripped out of the car. On top of that, it had an extra 250 miles put on the odometer for a brand new car. And you know the car being brand new, it needed to go through its proper break-in, which clearly it wasn't done, especially if you look at the tires, which show they were abused probably through burnouts and such. And currently this owner decided to give up the Z06 and it got bumped up to the next allocation from the same Illinois dealership he bought his original CE from, so at least that's a good silver lining, he's gonna get a new car. I can definitely feel for this owner because I mean, one, yeah, you want this car really badly, but if you're getting it brand new, it, with practically no miles on it then and then some idiot is dr uh, like driving it and ruining the experience of being the first car owner driving it that kind of soils the whole entire thing so not only that abusing the heck out of the car and motor during the break-in period which you know is like which you know what happened uh would really destroy the rel reliability on that specific motor which with this platform already has its fair share of engine blow blowing up and on a brand new z06 already so in any case, this car is actually with Corvette World of Dallas being evaluated and actually should be ready soon for sale, which might be a great deal depending. 
So that's the last of the examples I come across. Now, obviously there are probably more cases of C8s getting stolen, but to be honest, from the research I had come across, it's actually pretty rare, which is kind of good news to me. It's not like a certain other cars like the Dodge Challenger and the Charger, which are notorious for being stupid easy to steal. So I'm actually kind of glad that it was hard for me to find info on it. But the story from this, like I said from the beginning, is that this illustrates two main patterns of how the CEs are stolen. The first is something you can easily prevent yourself, and it's simple. A lot of the cases where the CEs are stolen were from crimes of opportunity. The C8 is a very distinctive car, it's really easy to spot, and a lot of people like it and want it, and it makes it an attractive uh, car for theft. And in those cases, the cars were left unlocked or with the keys in an accessible spot to get into the car and drive off. Simply making sure to have your seat locked before going anywhere from it is a good golden rule to follow. Now to add on to that, leaving your seat running while you jump in to get into like a gas station or whatnot uh, for a few seconds is also a big risk because a thief can pretty much get into your car and drive away without the key being present. To top it all off, the car is set up that it can actually be driven and turned off and then turned back on again one additional time before it needs the key. Rick Conti, who's big in the Corvette community, actually talked about this a while back. Most of us would think that it, that's a crazy flaw in the theft system, but I think GM did this in this case for someone who accidentally left their key at their house or something, went to drive somewhere and realized they didn't have their key and they basically were left stranded. I don't know, I've never run into that case myself, but that's my two cents on that. In any case, if something to keep in mind with your seat is that you don't want to have the car running and walk away from it at minimum unlocked. You're able to lock it with the car running, but the door has to be closed before you do lock the car or else it won't engage the lock. There's also other things you can look at like throttle cutoff switches and additional GPS trackers aside from the OnStar built-in which one, which will make it a lot more difficult to steal or at worst, at least make it easier to recover, but some might look at that as overkill. So okay, so that's basically the first pattern of way seeds are stolen that you can prevent. The other pattern is kind of out of your hands, but thankfully isn't as much common in the C8, uh, getting stolen from dealerships and places where it might ha not have been directly delivered just yet to a new owner. They're just a bad luck of the draw, but thankfully those cases are extremely rare from what I see. I tried to find some statistics on C8 Corvettes particularly being stolen and couldn't really find anything direct from good sources like the FBI's auto theft statistics. It doesn't distinguish that level from what I could see. The closest thing I was able to find was a single article from a Corvette mic that stated the C8 is less than 0.1% of the total amount of auto theft cars in the US. I didn't see where that number came from since it's not listed, but regardless, I would tend to agree that even if it's not 0.1%, it's pretty darn low. In any case, if you like this video and want to know more Corvette type news or product reviews, I'd recommend checking out any of these videos here and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys.